all that trivia. You know? I'm a spiritual master. My job is to, is to teach. Why I keep getting drawn down into all of this stupid, the low-level stuff. You guys should take care of all this stuff for me, so I don't have to do it. I should be able to concentrate all my energy on preaching. Huh? I mean, this is, you know, like, why are you here? And when I do something to show an example, you should watch very carefully what I do so that you can repeat it. That's why you're here, is to learn. And if you don't observe and you don't learn, well, what are you doing here? Why are you wasting your time? If you're just going to try to slide by with the minimum. I mean, we had to get rid of Christian because he wasn't doing any useful service. He was just hanging out and surfing the web, you know. And we, we asked him to look for a job, and he, he was even incompetent at that, you know. So we had to ask him to leave because he wasn't contributing anything. Everybody who's here has to contribute something, and not just money. It's not about money. It's about service, you know. You have to be willing to serve. You have to be willing to take responsibility and do things right. Do it at a high level of quality and competence. Huh? I, don't, I don't like to have incompetent people around me. I really don't. I, I drive them away. I drive them away because I don't want to be around someone who's incompetent or irresponsible or immature. I don't want them in my, in my circle. I don't want them in my group. Huh? If I have to tell somebody to do something more, two, more than two or three times, I really I get tired of them. I don't want to deal with them. They're not smart enough. Huh? Kanai, what are you doing? Come back in here. We're not in there. We're in here. Can I come in here? Now we should be able to just hear. We should be able to hear transcendental sound vibration, and we shouldn't have to mess with all this management stuff. We should make the situation so such that nobody has to be interrupted while hearing transcendental sound vibration. Huh? That's our goal. That's what we're trying to do. But if we're incompetent and irresponsible and just trying to get by with the easiest way of doing everything, then that's not going to happen. There's always going to be interruptions. Things are going to fail. Things are going to break. We're going to be constantly having to tweak stuff and, and get it working right because it's not, not working or whatever. We have a certain minimum standard, and we have to keep that standard. Huh? Otherwise, when we go to India and we're around actually intelligent people, they'll think we're idiots, and they'd be right. I don't want idiots in my group. They are embarrassing. They, they ruin the whole pur purpose, which is preaching. So you have to be mature. You have to be serious. You have to be dedicated. You have to be responsible. You have to be learning, learning every minute from my example. If I build a fire, you should watch how, what, what I do so that you can do it the same way. That's a mess. It might work, though. When I build a fire, how do I do it? Huh? It's, it's simple, it's elegant, it looks good, it works good, it burns, you know. It's not big and flashy, but it burns steady for four or five hours straight. You should watch. Learn. Anyway, the other thing was nectar of instruction, Sri Upadeshamrita, another book by Srila Rupa Goswami. He says, Atyahara. Prayashascha 
Prajalpo Niamagraha uh, Jana Sangash Chalalyang Cha Shad Bhir Bhaktir Vinashyati. There are six things that spoil your devotional service. Eating more than necessary or collecting more funds than required. Two, over endeavoring for mundane things that are very difficult to obtain. Three, talking unnecessarily about mundane subject matters. Four, practicing the scriptural rules and regulations only for the sake of following them and not for the sake of spiritual advancement or rejecting the rules and regulations of the scriptures and working independently or whimsically. Five, associating with worldly-minded persons who are not interested in Krishna consciousness. And six, being greedy for mundane achievements. These things will spoil our devotional service, so we have to be careful to avoid them. Huh? Especially this uh, prajalpa, talking about unnecessary things or talking about mundane subject matters or too much joking and, and, and kidding and, and like that. Um, for one thing, it's untruthfulness. We're not here to joke and kid around and have a party. We're here to learn about devotional service and spiritual life. And we can have a good time while doing that. Huh? We can crack a joke once in a while and everybody can laugh and that's nice. It lets off steam. But then when, uh, when it becomes like that all the time, it's like every time I came over here during the last couple of weeks for a prashadam or, or whatever, it's like somebody's joking around, kidding around. There's a lot of, you know, really unnecessary talk going on. Is that thing lit? Did it go out again? Yeah, it's wired. Okay. So it'll take a while to build up. That I got so sick and tired of it that I was ready to just go over to my house and stay there. Uh, I didn't... Even if we hadn't had the internet outage last night, I wasn't going to come over here and preach because I was so disgusted with hearing nonsense. Every time I came over here, I was so sick and tired of it that I wanted to just stay over in my cabin by myself. Really, I was, just, I was so fed up with it. Uh, now, we are here by the grace of the people who support our mission. Uh, we're, we're, this isn't a vacation. This is not like, you know, a, a field trip of some kind. This is a very, very serious mission, you know. And if we take advantage of the kind people who support us here and we just start partying and enjoying ourselves, that's cheating, and I won't permit it. I will not permit it. I'll send everybody home. I'm tired of this. Uh, it's just too immature. It's just too, you know, it's too nonsense. And especially when we're in India, we're going to be dealing with highly intelligent people, not these idiots that live around here, huh? but really intelligent people, people who know what the spiritual standard is, people who have Vaishnava training, temple experience, brahmachari training. Uh, maybe they have a bona fide spiritual master of their own. And they'll come to see, well, what are these guys up to? And if there's too much joking and clowning around going on, they're going to come away with a very bad impression. But we have to get serious. We have to get fixed up. Uh, that means, fixed up means that we have a very clear idea of the purpose of our mission, and what we're doing here. Our mission is to save the Gaudiya Vaishnava lineage from becoming extinct. Nothing less than that. Uh, my God brothers have completely failed. Try to understand. Every other mission is patterned after theirs. 
and they are also failing. Oh, they may have some money, and they may have some nice temples, and they may have lots of disciples, but they're giving a watered-down version of this teaching. They're giving a, a religious version of this teaching. Right? We, we could have hundreds of followers if we just said, oh, just come here, chant a little Hare Krishna, take some prasadam, and go home. We could have lots of followers anywhere. We could go anywhere in the world and start a temple and get lots and lots of people coming just by offering a little free entertainment and some good food. Uh, people like that kind of stuff. Uh, they'll go and see Yogi Nonsense Ananda because he puts on a good show. Uh, lots of flowers. Remember Maharishi when he first came to the U.S.? Anybody that old? Well, 